take a moment and celebrate my age the ending of an era and the turning of a page now it's time to focus in on where i go from here lord have mercy on my next 30 years Some fun. Try to forget about all the crazy things I've done. Maybe now I've conquered all my adolescent fears, and I'll do it better in my next 30 years. My next 30 years, I'm gonna settle all the scores, cry a little less, laugh a little more. Find a world of happiness without the hate and fear Figure out just what I'm doing here In my next 30 years Here we go Very, very, very long time no see So it has been about four almost five months since I've made a video if you don't count the one tick pray flicking video that pretty much failed like it was a decent video but I just kind of I rambled on a lot and I know I ramble a lot but I'm gonna be uploading a a new video very soon with the one tick pray flicking kind of explaining everything and just going over a little bit more in depth on how to do it I could do it in this video but this is one of those um, one of those videos where I should basically talk about what's happened to episode well, 7 and episode 8, 9, 10, and 11, 12, however many episodes I would be up to by now. So basically what happened was, is I actually quit doing the whole YouTube thing because, I don't know, there was just, there was just no drive for me to do it anymore. I just kind of, I don't know, I caved into the comments. Basically a lot of people said I was trying to act like uh, Bodhi and I was trying to just make a series like his and I couldn't get off my own originality. A lot of stuff, man, and it just kind of got to me. I don't know why, but... Yeah, I'm just gonna stand here for a minute and talk to you. Uh, you can admire my my Iron Man at the moment if you haven't seen my stats um, in the past five months since episode seven. Well, that wasn't even five months, like four months or so, um, because this account just hit six months old, I think, yesterday. But. Anyways, um, I'm actually going to go and pick YouTube back up again. Uh, this is the start of episode 7. I kind of want to update you with my stats right now. I'm actually going to talk about every single stat that I've done. Um, this is not going to have very many clips in it yet because obviously I'm picking back up. Originally, actually, what happened was, is what actually drove me to stop doing the YouTube thing, was I actually lost all of my clips from episode 7. Um, right after I was actually about ready to move and I was getting a new computer so I got a new computer and then I just I didn't save any of my clips I lost everything from episode 7 I was like you know what I just it was already kind of going downhill for me I don't want to do it anymore honestly and I, I felt bad and over the past like three four months that I've been streaming this every single day pretty much I just people were like man I really wish you did YouTube because you stream at this time and it doesn't work for me and sometimes I can watch but sometimes I can't I'd like to be able to watch without having to watch a past broadcast that's most of the time is muted so yeah, so now I am actually going to do this. I'm going to go back into YouTube. I'm going to see how it works. Hopefully I get a nice welcome back from the community. If I don't, I'm not going to like pussy out and be like, all right, well, see you dickheads. I'm not going to do this. Um, so I'm just going to, I'm going to be myself. I'm going to do everything in the videos and kind of go over everything and kind of catch back up. And there's a lot of things I would like to start uploading on this channel as well, as far as not just, um, oh, I need to get that. Yeah, whatever. I'll skip it. This one for now, <clears throat> but yeah. Anyways, um, so I'm going to talk about my stats right now, um, and then you can skip ahead if you want. I can put like a little thing in the description if you want to kind of talk about the bank. I'll be doing a bank video in just a second as well. Um, so while, I can, while we're here, I'll just talk about my outfit for a second. So the infinity top, uh, hat, boots, or yeah, the bottom, everything, the full infinity, except for the gloves and the mage book. That took about 44 in game hours. This is a frequently asked question, so I'm going to go ahead and answer that right now. About 44 hours. Um, so if you were wondering, there you go. Um, I'll also put the runes in the bottom or on the screen right now too, if you wanted to see how many runes it took me to get it, because it wasn't too many runes, honestly. I don't even remember the exact amount, but I have it saved in a notepad, so I can just kind of put a little text on the screen right now. But yeah, you guys actually saw me get the mage book already, I believe, in episode three, maybe episode two. I don't know. It's been a bit. It's been like I said, five months. So yeah, trying to get back into the groove. Um, as you can see, I have a trident of the swamp. And Mage's Book, there's already a lot of spoilers here, but I don't have any clips to show you because that's why I haven't been recording because I lost all those clips, so yeah. Anyways, let's talk about some of this. So if you don't know, I did 70 to 75 attack at Zami. I did quite a few solos there. I'm at like 150 Zami solos at the moment. Um, nothing fancy yet, and I'll go over that a little bit later in the tabs. I'm actually currently 24 mil strength XP, which is what I got from 93 Slayer. I also got it from Ranging uh, Slayer as well. I did a lot of Blowpipe Slayer, which again, another spoiler, but we'll get into the bank later. I actually eventually ended up questing my 45 defense, 
So now 45 defense, and uh, yep. 52 prayer. I have done all of the... Oh, a lot of diaries. I haven't done all of Rock Hard yet. I'm really close to doing it, but yeah, we'll get into those later as well. Uh, that's that's pretty much it. I'm actually, if you're wondering why my runecrafting is so low, I'm holding off on doing the runecrafting right now because I don't. I have to do the Lumpy Hard Diary, and in order to do the Lumpy Hard Diary, I have to do 100 tiers of Guthics or 100 tiers and tiers of Guthics. So it'll give defense XP or it'll give XP to your lowest stat. And if I were to train my runecrafting, defense would be my lowest stat, and that'd be a very bad idea. So uh, construction, nothing's changed there. I believe it's the same as it was in episode six. Uh, HP. I'm actually 150k away from that on HP. Um, this is really cool. I actually just got a smoke devil task, so I don't think I'll get. Obviously, I won't get 150k HP XP, but I'm pretty close. So the next clip will probably be that, or a drop from smoke devil or something. But yeah, agility. Nothing really to talk about there. Got full graceful. A lot of extra grace marks of grace, um, and I can actually make stamina pots if I need to. But yeah, um, ranging pots I have unlocked, as you can see there from 72 herb. I don't have to have anything fancy. I I don't have to boost it or anything, so that's pretty fun. Uh, thieving, haven't really touched it. Crafting, I actually have almost an 88 crafting, or 89 crafting bank. I don't know, you guys can do the math whenever I show you my bank. Sorry, I know I'm talking really quickly. It's because I'm not really nervous, but it's been a bit since I made a video, man. So it's hard to get back into the YouTube mode. So I'll try to talk a little bit slower. <laughs> Anyways, uh, 93 Slayer, that has been that has been the biggest journey over the past five months, and honestly, if I were to even be uploading clips, most of the clips you would be seeing is me PKing, I've done like 22 target kills, and me doing Slayer tasks over and over and over again, so kind of be happy that you, I guess you got to skip all of that, because that was a, that was a lot of Slayer, man. 90 Hunter, almost 91 actually, not too far for that, I've already used all the chins, and uh, yeah. Then a lot of blowpipe slayer as well. But moving on, uh, let's see. The right column, nothing fancy again. As far as the cooking, a lot of people always ask me, how are you almost 90 cooking whenever you have 59 fishing? And Zolra, I'm telling you, I've almost, I've got like 800 Zolra kills at the moment. I have a lot of raw sharks from that. A lot of raw monks from Kraken as well. A lot of grapes, stuff like that. So uh, smithing I've done. I actually made iron darts for that, and you'll see that later in the bank as well. Uh, I made for quite a bit of that, and then Addy darts as well I boosted too. Uh, let's see, that's basically it, the farming as well. Zolra. Zolra is master race, man. Zolra escape. <laughs> anyway, so without further ado, I always like to show you guys my bank, and uh, that's pretty much it for the stats section. So I'm currently 98 combat. I will get 99 combat whenever I finish 99 HP. I could get higher prayer, but just in case attack comes into a viable option in the future for the 80 attack, I'm going to hold off on getting 55 prayer. I don't see myself getting a spirit shield, so yeah. Anyways, let's go. All right, so starting off with the top part of the bank, I have my bank setup's pretty cool. I think I like this. I have all of my teleports up here at the top. I have the slayer rings, dueling rings, games necklaces. Is that 1.5k dueling rings is crazy, man. Uh, if you don't know, like this is a really cool tip I've been starting to let people know about because I PK on this account here and a blue moon, you know. But start saving your dueling rings. If you're an Iron Man, you ever plan on PKing, save your dueling ring once. Get them all the way down to one charge left and leave them at one charge. That way, whenever you PK, if somebody kills you, you only lose a one charge dueling ring instead of losing an eight charge. You're going to teleport at the end of the fight anyways. You get a bank, so you might as well just grab that. Really easy. Uh, also, make sure you use one dose pots, which we'll get into a little bit later as well. Uh, here are all my glories. I have 15 Dragonstone Amies I haven't turned into glories yet. And uh, this is pretty much... That's it, really. Nothing too fancy. Cash stack's a little low. Um, I don't... It's I just haven't really done much cash stack flow lately. So that's why. Uh, I can go and bank everything here so you can see all my placeholders. I actually started gambling my fire capes. I've done six Jad tasks, I believe. Five or six. So, yeah. <laughs> Not, nothing fancy there. Um, yeah, so we'll go over the runes. I keep all my runes here. Nothing too huge. 3.1 mil cash stack, Draymond staffs, two whips. I have 65k iron darts there, and I also have, oops, it's kind of a little bit of a spoiler there, but I'm gonna charge it here for you. So you can see everything, you know. So there's almost 80k iron darts. Super attacks, they need to go up in this tab. So right now I have, uh, let's see, I have three Trident of the Swamps, basically. Uh, two of them are uncharged. I have seven crystal keys. I could turn those into dragon stones at any point. Two Tridents, uh, which are uncharged. Again, I haven't made them into that because I've had three Magic Fang drops, but I honestly don't want any more. <laughs> uh, 10k Blood Runes, those are all from Slayer, basically. Warrior Ring, Berserk Ring imbued. Now, my kill counts on these, I got the Warrior Ring, as you remember, from episode 6, last clip um, of last episode. It was actually, um, I don't remember what kill count it was, a 54, I think. And then I got a Berserk Ring on, like, kill 79, I believe. So I got some pretty decent luck at Rat Rex. Uh, Abyssal Tentacle, I use that for PKing. If you don't know, you can actually put a Tentacle on, on the Strength option. 
and a lot of times that will give you defense XP, but in my case, since I'm an Iron Man, whenever I'm in the wieldy fighting other players, I do not get any defense XP for using the whip, so that's a really cool feature about this account. One of the reasons why I have a kind of a PKing type build for this account. So I use the fighter hat when I PK, sometimes I use a slayer helm imbued, it just kind of depends. Anyways, I have a dark bow. I finally got that. I think it was like 2.4k KC. It was. It took me a long time to get that dark bow. I was very happy to finally get it. So, <clears throat> yeah, I used that for Greater Demon or Greater Demons. Uh, Zami task at the very beginning. I used the spec twice during that fight. That normally always ensures a kill. I don't think I've ever double negative here, but ever not got the kill. <laughs> um, at Zami using a dark bow. So. Uh, moving on, that's that's pretty much it. You guys have seen that gear there, so we can move over to the clue tab now. I've done 240 hard clue scrolls since you last saw the clue tab, and there's a lot that's changed here, and <laughs> this is a pretty impressive tab, I'd say. I'm kind of sad that you guys didn't get to see this tab form over the time, but you get to watch it grow more and more as I finish off Nanon and Slayer and my other goals in this account as well. So as far as books, I finished the Ancient book, the Zami book, the Zara book, and Bandos book. I am currently one page off of finishing off the Guthix book and one page... Uh, finished in the armor book, which ironically is armor page two. So <laughs> as far as that though, I've got cavaliers, every single one of them, 545 purple suites, basically every single teleport I could ever want. A lot of guard, ar guard armor, um, gold armor set, that berserker necklace, the infamous berserker necklace from God knows how long ago, fire lighters, teleports, uh, my Aloha helmet. Um, yeah, you guys can basically see everything here. Farming tab. Eh, th nothing too fancy here. I've used a lot of these snapdragons into, uh, which you'll see later into a super restore pot so watermelon seeds swamp tar from zora 59 rune axes from clue scrolls and a bunch of other things um yeah so that's that's pretty much the tab 36 calquat seeds or trees already made plus another wherever the hell the calquat trees thingies are um they're in here somewhere i have a lot of calquat stuff so yeah i don't know where the hell they are man um calquat there 18. I don't know what they're doing that tab, but there you go. Uh, full graceful, magical sex, and uh, yeah, there's my herb stuff. Sukatooth. Suka teeth. <laughs> uh, that's that's basically it for my herb tab. Uh, again, Slayer tab isn't too big. I sold most of my Slayer tab whenever I got 90 Slay, but uh, from 90 to 93 Slay, this is basically it. Three extra crack and tentacles. I didn't actually get my first one until like 1.2 or 1.7k, so that was pretty big grind there. Um, yeah, Lava Battle Staff, Mystic, a bunch of, bunch of random stuff here. Gym Tab. Not too fancy. I, this, the biggest notable thing in this inventory, or in this tab, would probably be the, the 2k unused air orbs and the 3.7k unpowered orbs with the 1k Battle Staff. So, yep. Junk Tab. Don't even worry about that tab. This is my Zami Tab. Now, up until just last night, this was probably, like, not even a very awesome tab. This is, I didn't even like showing this tab off, honestly, because it wasn't even that great. Um... Yeah, I just didn't like it. But um, I have two Zami spe or two Dragon Spears that I got from Zami. I actually have three Rune Long Sword or three Rune Swords that I got, which are one and four oh eight, I believe. I have a God Switch R two off of Krill and a Shield Left Half. Those are all really, really, really rare drops. And I was really bummed about it. And then last night, I actually had the Telly on a Minion Sword or a Minion Sword, a Minion Spear. I got a Minion Spear last night, which is one in five point four K, and I Telly it as a God. I have the um, the message in the chat box here. I can show it to you on the screen, but. Yeah, pretty bad. Uh, other than that, the biggest drop I got last night, which isn't even too big, because I would have much rather had like a Staff of the Dead or something else, you know, very useful for the account, but I got a Steam Battle Staff, so if you don't know, that's a 1 in 128 drop from Krill, and uh, it's going to be really helpful whenever I do my runecrafting grind, which we will also get into a little bit later, and to the Zolar tab, but yeah, this is just random PKing stuff. And lastly, probably one of my biggest tabs, this is probably the most, uh, I guess, ground ruling account or ground ruling tab on this account like there's so much stuff in this tab that's going to basically make the foundation of this account in the future so whew, there's a lot of stuff here i've been talking for the past 12 minutes straight man you guys have been sitting here listening to it i'm sorry if it's kind of boring but yeah anyways two serpentine helms keep in mind my i got these uh less than uh 200 kc i believe two or 300 i got a blowpipe on 69 kc I got my first Magic Fang on 150 KC. I have gotten three, as I said beforehand. Uh, let's see, 10K Coal, 5.5K Magic Logs, 47K Flax. That's a lot of XP. Uh, 2.7 or 2.6K of those, and I also have these as well from Cave Kraken. Ranging Pots have 106K Pure Essence, which uh, I think that last time I did the math on that, it'll actually get me probably 74 or 75 runecrafting, at least in Lava Runes, so that's pretty cool. 
Uh, nothing really fancy here. Dragon Bones, 1.7k of them. I'm never going to use them, probably. Snake Skin, D Stone Bolts, a lot of these things, man. Uh, sharks, a lot of sharks from Zora. I'm very happy with this. I've used a lot of sharks as well, but. Uh, 15 Dragon Hallies, that's another 2 mil or so there. Rune Crossbows, those are the same two that I got way back in like episode 2, I think. Um, let's see. Potatoes with cheese, uh, scales left over, not too many. Jugs of water. Let's see. Oh, recoils. This is probably one of the best, the best parts ever, man. <laughs> 1k ring of recoils, man. That's so many. That took so long to do. Teleports. Uh, oak logs, monkfish, and a bunch of wine that I've made and brews. But anyways, a lot of people I'm, I'm sure are going to ask, where the hell did you get all of your sapphires and emeralds? I have picked up every single sapphire and emerald basically on Slayer, and I've also bought them in the Tazar shop, so that's where I got all of those. I have a rune pouch that I got from PKing. That took a T6 emblem, so yeah. Other than that, that's pretty much it for the bank. I got 550 Addy Bars, which will be 5.5k darts if I ever make them into darts, but eh, not in a too big of a hurry for that. That's pretty much it for my entire setup. Now, as I said beforehand, I do have a Smoke Devil task, so I'm actually going to go start destroying the Smoke Devil task, and uh, I believe I have like 180 of them if I, last time I checked, so let's check here. Yeah, 183 Smoke Devils, so that's going to hold me off for a while. I'm going to go ahead and knock that out, and uh, I will see you probably in the next clip whenever I get something from the Smoke Devil task. If I don't get anything the entire task, I will go ahead and conclude the video and call this episode 7 just as an update video, and then we'll move on from the future after that. So um, I guess we'll basically either see what happens in the next clip with a with a conclusion, or if I get something lucky, um, I can go over my drops as well, or my uh, boss log with you sometime if you'd like. But yeah, for now, that was, I've already talked for 15 minutes straight. So I guess I do, I really want to go over to the next part, so, yeah. Not bad for the first uh, rare-ish drop as a D semi there on kill 10. Not bad, I'm still looking for that occult though, so 770 kills, we'll see what we can get in the next 170 kills. Yet another rare drop, I don't know what the drop rate is on this or the D semi, but eh, that's not, what kill count is that, 33, so I think I'm doing pretty good so far in rare drops, looks like I'm averaging about anywhere from 11 to 13 kill trips. I switched over to infinity as well for this trip to see how it was, seems like it's a little bit better, I'm taking a lot, a lot more damage, but I'm also doing more damage in return, so not bad, probably and all in all just speed up the task so uh, I guess we'll still keep plowing out this task and hope to god we get something good soon another rare drop down the drain another ancient staff I think that's I don't even know what the rate is on that I know it's a rare drop I'm not entirely sure I have 64 left 119 KC still no occult we're gonna keep searching for it I'll try to cancel and get this task again if we don't get it um, soon then I don't know if I'm gonna keep going for it or not there's a lot of things I still need to do but yeah anyways we'll keep going for it and I'll see if we get it Another Ancient Staff. I actually lost out on a kill earlier as well from the system update. But yeah, there's kill number 160, Ancient Staff, 22 Smoke Devils left. Really hope we get this occult necklace. I actually got 100 Slayer points uh, when I logged in from some update as well. So that's pretty cool. I'm actually going to try to get those canceled. Try to get another uh, Smoke Devil task if we don't get the occult this time because I really want to get over to doing Zolra and my armor solos, but we will see. Well, here we are. Last kill of the trip. If I do not uh, get this occult necklace on this kill, then I'm most likely going to be canceling and trying to get something from or trying to get smoke devils again i did get like i said those 100 points refunded to me from the spiritual mage task canceling or whatever so yeah fire talisman that sucks well 182 of them down no cult necklace wish me luck on getting a smoke devil task i'm not going to get it here cow fight no cancel this even though i really love cow fight tasks smoke devils spiritual creatures gonna cancel those Gargoyles? I thought I had those permed. Almost certain that I did. Greater Demons, even though I would love to do Zami. Oh, that's going to hurt me to cancel. It took me so long to get Greater Demons last time, but I am going to go ahead and cancel those and still try to get these Smoke Devils again, because I really, really, really want that Occult Necklace, so just watch my points go down the drain as we try to get them. Cave Horrors? I thought it was Cave Crack and I would do it. Last cancel we have here. Please be Smoke Devils. Cave Kraken. Okay, I'm okay with that. Maybe we can uh, try to get a pet or something, but I'll see you whenever we finish off the Kraken task. Well, there's 582 tasks finished, and there are 12 points there. Not bad. 400 runes, water runes to finish it off. I'm really tired. It's 8 a.m. right now. We're going to see if we can't get some Smoke Devils, please. Yes, so That's so amazing, man. To go from Smoke Devils to Cave Kraken to Smoke Devils. And that will actually put me at the drop rate. So I'm just going to get some sleep right now, and I'll start killing those out tomorrow. And uh, hopefully we can finally get the occult necklace. If we're able to get the occult necklace, I'll start doing more Zora, and then uh, basically moving on to um, hmm, bossing and a bunch of other things. So yeah. 
Well, we slammed through the Smoke Devil task. We didn't actually get the Occult Necklace still. I ended up doing a Cave Kraken task. A couple other tasks as well. I don't want to, like, record every single clip because I don't want you guys to get, you know, bored of the, oh, finish the task, finish the task, finish the task. But there's not really much else I can record for. But, I don't know, I skipped, like, I think, like, 20 tasks there, like, showing you guys. Like, I didn't show anything at all. I'm, I don't know really when to record anymore, honestly, with Slayer. So, and you'll have to bear with me. But, anyways, uh, <laughs> next task. Bloodveld, and I've actually been canceling tasks left and right. I don't even have points to cancel that, so I'm gonna go knock at the Bloodveld task. We're actually only 218k off of 94 Slay. I really don't want to end this video until I get the Occult Necklace, so I may actually end up getting 94 Slayer before I even get the Occult Necklace. But I'll keep trying. This task will probably take me—I eh, don't even know—like about an hour or so, and then I'll be moving back over to trying to get the Occult Necklace again. I may cancel the next one. I don't know. I—I I, I don't know. I, we'll just see. Oh my god, oh my god, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. Oh my god, it happened. Finally, man, after 700 kills, we finally got the occult necklace. I'm not probably gonna disappear before I even pick it up, but. Oh, yes, that is so awesome. I'm so happy. That's like the best thing ever. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna pick that up right now. After I get done with the stack, I just wanna finish this kill because I wanna see a double occult necklace drop. Damn. Uh, that's a rune chain body and a occult necklace. Let me just throw it on really quick. Oh god, man! I don't even like. I don't, I don't even know a reaction. I was I was sitting there thinking to myself, I'm like, I'm probably gonna get it really early in this task. And I'm actually probably gonna get a placeholder as well. And um, I was sitting there thinking to myself, I'm like, there's I don't even know what to say when I get it because it's gonna happen. And I haven't told the CC yet. Watch that. I'm gonna actually sell the CC right now. Hold on. I uh, got it. Yeah, and that's basically how I would react on stream as well. But yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Got the gold necklace. I'm about to run into a prayer. Um, but side note, I'm just gonna kill this one and waste some runes for a minute. That unlocks so much for my account. That that was the final Slayer drop that I wanted to get. I'm done with my cult necklace. I'm done with Slayer for a while. I may finish off the Slayer level only because it's so close. I don't know. We'll see. But got my cult necklace. I am so happy. That is all. No way. No way. Another one, man. Another. I got a placeholder. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, <laughs> that's amazing. That's just amazing, man. <laughs> I don't even know. I'm, I don't even know anything else I could put in this video to make this video any better, to be honest. That is amazing. I, I'm done. I am the happiest person in the world right now. <laughs> no way. Oh, my God. Shut up, Azul. I hate you so much. Anyways, I just wanted to throw in a little cheeky clip in there. That was almost back-to-back. -back. That was the first lure back as well. Oh my god, so it's probably won't be the end of the video just yet, because I'm going to finish off this task. If I get another one, then I don't even know what to say, but... <sighs> oh my god. <laughs> well, there we have it. That is the end of Episode 7. Again, I really do apologize for anybody that uh, just was waiting around for Episode 7 and just never came out. I do appreciate everybody that waited around. I appreciate everybody that stayed and tuned in through this entire video of 28 minutes or whatever, me talking about my entire account, and I really... Would appreciate it if you subscribe if you're a new viewer. Uh, if you have, if you've already been subscribed or you were subscribed in the past but unsubscribed because the video stopped, then uh, yeah, if you resubscribe, you'll uh, just get the notifications anytime that I do release videos. But you guys are more than welcome to come see all of this live at twitch.tv slash foxyboxy. I normally stream every single day unless I am editing a YouTube video, which last night I didn't stream because I am working on this video. So um, this is actually, I've already done a lot of recording for episode eight and I don't want to spoil anything by opening up the bank. So I'm going to not open this bank and show you what I've gotten there because I've reorganized my bank a little bit. I've done a lot of Zolra supply gathering. And that's actually why I'm in the Warriors Guild right now. I was doing some potato gathering, and I will be doing more as well. I have kind of a small goal for that, but we'll talk about that later. Anyways, that's basically it for episode 7, so I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you please leave it a like, um, then that would I would really appreciate it. That's basically it. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in episode 8. And I'm not just going to randomly disappear on you guys this time. Um, I'll actually probably see you before episode 8, because I did promise to make the updated one-tick prey flicking video, because the last one kind of sucked. Uh, it, like a lot of people liked that. That one was almost about 10,000 views or something, and people were like, "This is an awesome video." And then people came in the Twitch chat. They're like, "This is not an awesome video." I was like, "Okay, well, what I'll do is I will um I'll upload a new one tick pray flicking video that's very very easy, very easy to understand, and uh, hopefully you guys will be able to get that. So, see you guys next week with some more awesome grants. <laughs>